So right now we're going to demonstrate how to apply sunscreen to body areas. And whenever you're out in the sun, you want to try to wear as much swimsuit as possible if you're going to be on the lake or the beach. Um, and so, you know, for a lot of women, that includes wearing a one-piece. Um, I'm a really big advocate of rash guard swim shirts, which cover up even a little bit more like a t-shirt on the upper body. Um, but, we're, you know, a lot of times people will have at least this much arm exposed, even when you're just wearing a short sleeve shirt. So you really need to get sunscreen on this area. We're going to start with our basic cream sunscreen. I'm using the Baby Tear Free 50 Plus, so you can do this application technique with your little children more than six months old or for adults. And we're going to really put on a whole lot of sunscreen, so if you'll notice, there's about three or four P's amount of sunscreen here. And we're going to just rub it in, and we're going to put it all down the hand, including the fingers. Um, many patients don't realize how much sun your fingers get. But we see squamous cell skin cancer on the fingers, so it's important to get protection there. Okay. And keep rubbing that sunscreen in all the way up to where your shirt may actually rise up if you're doing an activity. And then it seems a little bit white still, so you're just going to keep rubbing it in. This is the right amount of sunscreen. It seems like a lot, but it's what you need to put on in order to get the SPF factor that's in the tube. And there you go. She's ready for beach volleyball. So the second thing we're going to demonstrate is how to use a spray-on sunscreen. And these sunscreens sometimes get a bad rap because I think the mo most important reason that people don't use them right is because they don't really put enough on. So you tend to get burned through these sunscreens if you don't put enough on. And, you know, I, I've been at Disneyland and standing in line and watching people apply their spray on sunscreen, and this is usually how it goes. And that's just not really going to cut it for UV protection. <laughs> this is how much sunscreen you need to put on when you use a spray on. Enough to where the skin actually stops absorbing it, so it's going to look shiny. And if you can actually look here at Ashley's skin... Her skin looks shiny. It looks like it's been coated with sunscreen. Now it's perfectly fine to rub that in and let it dry. But you want that much spray on when you put the spray on on if you really want to get that SPF 50 or 60 that you're, you're aiming for when you put it on. And it actually dries very easily and nicely without a lot of greasy feeling. So a lot of patients, especially if you have um, more hair on your arms like our male patients, They'll kind of prefer the spray-on sunscreens, and it's completely fine, again, if you get enough on there.